I think the rally's great. It's really nice to see that everyone stands behind support for the library. Um, it's nice to see so many people here actually on a Saturday morning. It's right. freezing cold. And they're just showing that, that this, this is not acceptable. This is our library and we're not going to let it get butchered like this. Well, we're here to join the protest to try and stop the cuts to this library. Um, it was a, built last year, costing millions and millions of pounds, this great big showpiece. Now they've announced that they want to cut the jobs down, 60 jobs to go cut the hours right down, shut down the archives uh, and it's just not on the councillors of course say they're a Labour council, it's not our fault, it's central government, central government bats it back saying well it's Birmingham they should manage their budget better and ultimately it's austerity and neither party are going to do anything about this but this, this is a great building and we need to try and save it so left unit here trying to build an alternative to the other two parties, three parties, um, and that's why I'm here because I really believe that as well as trying to save them now, we need to be building an alternative for the future for a party that stands against austerity. I think it's absolutely disgraceful. I mean, when I saw this library and saw how much money that was actually invested into it, I thought it was a fantastic idea for the future of all the children of Birmingham. And then when I heard that there was cutting about the hours, I thought it was completely disgraceful. When I look at what the what the staff, the school staff that they had in the library, when they're thinking, look, what facilities are there, and they're saying, okay, what a brilliant um, symbol for Birmingham. Well, what are we saying to the world when we when we put out the symbol of Birmingham and saying that we're going to cut back on the hours? I think it's absolutely disgraceful. Really important to stand up to austerity, not just here in Birmingham. Birmingham, but all across uh, Europe, there's been a huge offensive by the wealthy and the rich um, across the world to um, make the poorest in society pay for the crisis that their system has created. This is a real crisis of capitalism. The effects in Birmingham with the uh, enforced redundancies of uh, library staff is just uh, one small example of what's uh, happening. What they're doing to the library is wrong. They're, they're cutting the hours, they're cutting the staff, it's all wrong. It's what they've done in the whole city council, I work for social services. They've trashed all of it over the last, since 2004. Trashed it all. You right. all know that we've got internet, but for some people who don't necessarily have internet, they've got libraries to have look at the books and everything. See, like, with internet, you, you may find everything you need on the internet, but it might not what be what you want on the internet. But in the books, you can actually like definitively look it up in the book. We're helping people to educate, but also speak to each other and 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 a place where people can stay warm and keep the community. So it's very important to keep these libraries going. This is access to a free resource which working class people, people on low income need more than anyone else. Apart from anything else, this library does a huge amount of, or it did, huge amount of outreach programs to say like uh, local kids, uh, school kids, they would go in and be able to look at art uh, installations and other, like they get um, like poets in and children's authors in and do those kind of things for free. Yeah, it's the library administration that um, uh, runs Birmingham City Council and they've already enforced uh, massive cuts leading to thousands of workers being made redundant and after the council having spent uh, 198 million pounds of borrowed money on a new uh, showpiece library they are now um, sacking the staff uh, that run the place this financial crisis was caused by the banks and it was the banks that caused this financial crisis so it should be them who actually pay, pay for it it should be their responsibility not uh, not the not my children my children didn't cause the the, the, the financial crisis it was those people in, in the banks down in london let them pay for it